So today we are going to learn how to make a cluster bar chart. A cluster bar chart is a chart like this, wherein there is no gap in between the bars. And mostly this cluster bar chart actually shows how the sales are distributed for each of the category for within each of the regions. So for each of the product category, we'll come to know how they are spread across the region. And for those of you who are new to uh, Tableau, you can you can use this by uh, the sample Superstore data set. And if you have your data on any of the servers, then you can connect it with this. Or you can use the sample Superstore data set that is provided by the Tableau community. And let's start. So here I'm going to use details. Oh, one more thing. On the data source, um, you'll just have to see that it's the, it's the orders this if you want to start with from the scratch then it's the order sheet that i've picked cool let's start so i'll just draw the sales here and then i will connect to the category Connecting the category and double click here and then we can I'm going to just drop the region on the color now. So if you see, this is how it does. But this is not effectively what we wanted. We wanted something different, right? So, uh, one way is that we can put a region here, but you cannot tweak around with this thing. You still see that there are a lot of distance between the two bars, which is not. So uh, we we'll create a calculated field to counter for this and i'm using a case option you can use an if option too but i will use case and if you see over here you can also see exactly how you're supposed to write it so i have region is field and when it's central you can see it's the single quote. So when central 0.15, and we're just going to copy this and put this down, and down, and down, because I knew that there was a central east, south, and west. Okay, so there are there are four regions. So central east. Out. Be careful about these spellings and the rest. And if this is 0 0.15, I'll put this 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.8, else 0 0.25, and so just put in <coughs> something like 0 0.25 and just to show if there is anything else left, you can just put it as 0 0.25 or you can put it as 0 0.19, just to show it something else on the cluster. Cool. And the calculation is valid and I say, okay. And instead of this region, I'm going to replace that thing over here. And so you need to go again to the bar. And this is how the bar is looking like. And I do not want it as sum, I want it as average. So you can see the 0 0.14, 0 0.15, and all those stuff here. So you can see it's the three here. <clears throat> now you're able to edit the axis over here. So I go to fixed, and because if you see everything is starting from 0 0.15, I maybe want to start from 0 0.14, right? So that's how the bar chart would look like. So that's done and I don't want any title over here because if you see there were no titles and on the tick marks I don't want any tick marks I want none so if you say fixed so these are the ones which were fixed fixed automatic it does not really make sense here because it's like 0 0.14 we have fixed it here the whole point is that we would like to have a none or not over here so if you want to show it so I'll put it as none and yes, 
And now we have to do is the size. Now the size of the bar we need to adjust with this. So we'll go to fixed and I will go for 0 0.01 with an axis either. And, and the reason I'm going in two digits is because you remember we had put 0 0.15. So if something is 0 0.15, I would like to put the width in axis units of 0 0.01. And the alignment is central. You can also keep it left or you can keep it right. It's like alignment on the pane, but I would like to keep it center. And yep. And I guess it's the same as what I showed you on the start.